हेलो एवरीवन आई एम एगा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एगा लर्निंग कव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फिबोनाची नंबर्स फ्रॉम नेचर लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो विल डिस्कस फर्दर ऑन दैट लेट्स गो फॉर अ बाइक राइड विल कैप्चर सम ऑफ द नेचर Uh, what does exactly mean fibonacci number or fibonacci sequence let's try to understand it's denoted by fn f0 equal to 0 f1 equal to 1 that is the first two terms of the sequence in general fn is nothing but fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 which means we have to add the previous two consecutive numbers n always greater than or equal to 2 so here it goes up to infinite 4 5 dot dot up to infinite now we'll form the sequence 1 f2 is nothing but we have to use our uh, sequence identity where we have to add the previous term and the another previous term which means the consecutive two previous terms where 0 plus 1 that is 1 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 2 that is 3 if you continue this sequence you will get infinitely many numbers which is called Fibonacci sequence let's see Fibonacci numbers in nature here it is 1 fatal flower 2 fatal flower 1 2 another example 
this is the three petal flower but in nature I could see more five petal flowers see different example another one here it is eight petal flower it's a beautiful one 13 petal flower it's going 1 to 13 now yeah this is the 21 petal flower in the middle you can see the spirals where we are going to discuss further on that now we know the Fibonacci numbers that start from 0 to that will go up to infinite so I'm going to draw a square based on this number this is one square another one extending one square so next number is 2 let's make a square of 2 2 cross 2 in the left hand side I'm making another square that is the area 3 cross 3 I'm making 5 cross 5 similarly we can continue this square up to infinite this is 8 let's continue till at least 21 square yeah this is 13 now let's extend for 21 square just follow this pattern you will understand what I am trying to explain here is this pattern you can see in nature that is a spiral as well as in our uh, what you say the universe also the same pattern so let's draw the spiral so that you can understand what I am referring here just connect the both the corners it's a sharp edges where you can see the exactly very good uh, spiral that is called Fibonacci spiral in the sunflower we can see the golden spiral let us try to understand what does mean Fibonacci ratio we know the Fibonacci numbers that will go up to infinite Fibonacci ratio that is F ratio that is approximately equal to Fn divided by Fn minus 1 which means we will go with the example let's take any number let's go with uh, 21 divided by 13 what we are getting 1.61538 dot 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 it is denoted by an Greek letter phi that is a irrational number I'll tell you how to find that one in detail the currently that is exactly matching to the two decimal points let's go for the second example 34 divided by 21 where we are getting 1.619047 dot 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 that is almost equivalent to first two decimal points let's go for the other example where we are getting 1.617647 dot 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 both are equivalent almost equivalent to 5 so if you go with the larger number you will get the more accuracy as I said is an irrational number let's try to understand golden angle so actually it was uh, derived from the golden ratio that is a Fibonacci ratio in geometry the golden angle is the smallest of the two angles created by dividing the circumference of the circle according to the golden ratio such that a plus b divided by a equal to a divided by b which is called the golden ratio so a plus b is nothing but our circumference of the circle so this angle is approximately equal to 137.5 degree let's expand from here where we can one a divided by a is one b by a where i can see that is a reciprocal of the golden ratio so if that is phi it should be one divided by phi so from here that is equal to phi 
from here we can rewrite as if you multiply by pi where you can get pi plus 1 equal to pi square where we can get the quadratic equation pi square minus pi minus 1 equal to 0 if you solve this quadratic equation where we'll get the two solution 1 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2 but 5 is greater than 0 which is positive number so it should be 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 which is nothing but exactly equal to the golden ratio let's derive where we can see one point it should be 6 1 8 rounding to three decimal points we can see golden angle it is a blackberry actually where I captured some golden angle here let's have a look of other plants let's start with the first leaf and then I'm going to rotate the golden angle that is 137.5 degree where I'm spotting the second leaf and the third one by doing the same from 3 to 4 the same angle that is a golden angle from 4 to 5 we are following the same one this is an wonderful method where I, I would say the golden angle is so convenient in this way you will find golden angles on lots of plants around to you just have a look when you go out next time you will absorb those things you will understand many things from the nature I hope you like this session actually here just I covered with the Fibonacci number and golden ratio as well as golden angle where I about to cover few other section maybe we will discuss further in the next video where I am going to discuss about how why this is used in the agile methodology as well as we can write few program on that if you like this video please do subscribe and share with your friends thank you bye bye